amazing. I love that spirit. Let's just channel that spirit. Push it into the camera so that right now everyone is feeling amazing too. I hope that you had an amazing weekend. I know that I did. I know that we're going to have an amazing week this week. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Can you do that? Well, let's do it. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. That was fantastic. Okay, so Lila, the first thing that I want you working on this week, the first thing I want everyone working on this week is focusing on this, okay? Academic Adventurer Trade of the Week. It's all about communication. It's all about us as students communicating to the adults in our lives what we know, what we don't know. It is your education. It's your education, all right? All of us, all of us adults, we've done it already. We've already gone through elementary school. I did my time in three to five. Um, so now it is up to you guys. So what are you struggling with? What are you struggling with? What are any questions that you have? And it's okay to struggle. Life is not always easy. Education, there's always gonna be something that's gonna be tripping us up and it's okay to say, yeah, no, I'm, not, I'm having a hard time with that. So being able to communicate that and putting your hand in the air and asking the teacher for a little bit of help, that is gonna go a long way. So if you don't know, if you know what you don't know, it's okay to ask for help. So don't be afraid to let your teacher know what you're having trouble with, it's totally okay. So communicate, that is the, that's the treat that I want you to work on for the rest of this week. Okay, Lila, this month, the month of March, it is National Women's Month, and Emmeline and Nora are gonna be here to tell us all about Malala. So, girls, take it away. Malala Yousafzai was born in 1997 in the Swat Valley of Pakistan, a Taliban-controlled area. By the time she was 11, she was the author of a blog for BBC Urdu, which was detailed life for girls and women under the crushing Taliban occupation. She became the subject of a New York Times documentary and began giving interviews despite threats to her life by the Taliban. She was soon nominated by Desmond Tutu for the International Children's Peace Prize. In 2012, Taliban retaliated with an assassination attempt on Malala, who nearly died from her bullet wounds. Ultimately, she recovered in Birmingham, England, and remained there, resuming her tireless advocacy for human rights, especially those of women and children. Now she is the youngest Nobel Prize winner, the founder of the Malala Fund, and the co-author of I Am Malala, an international bestseller. Fantastic job. Thank you so much. I think that we can all benefit from learning about the strength of Malala. Okay, so this Wednesday, Lila, what are you doing this Wednesday at 6 o'clock? I, I think I'm going to go to the volleyball game. I do not know yet, but I think I might. Okay, I think that you're going to be there. And I think that you're all going to be there too. It's going to be great. But I've talked a lot about it. You've heard me say a lot about it. I know that you've heard Mrs. Hodges and just basically everybody at this point is all talking about it. But enough talk. Roll this clip. Mr. G and Ms. McCandlish, good. Okay. Haven? Um, we're gonna win because we have tall teachers on the team. Tall teachers, thank you very much. 
they're just better. I agree. Lewis, what do you think? Space sharks aren't good at all. They're not good at all. All right, Faddle? They actually won tournaments and they do not. Mm, okay, we have some people on the team that have won tournaments. Ava? Um, you have you're Miss Potches. And you're the dirt teacher. No offense, again, <laughs> but still. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Liv? They don't slay. Uh, because Miss Murray, uh, we were both in Miss Murray's class, and we're now in Miss McCandless's class, so, and both of them are on the dark night, so, and Miss Murray's like the most athletic person in the world. <laughs> Yeah, she is. All right, ladies. So the space sharks have been smack talking the dark knights, and um, I figured I'd put the students up to it. Why do you feel like the dark knights are obviously going to win the volleyball game? Because they're undefeatable. Yeah, we, we are undefeatable. Okay. <laughs> the sharks don't slay. They don't slay. Because they have Mrs. Hodges on their team. Oh, you're so sweet. I didn't pay her to say that. <laughs> Anything else? All right, thank you so much. I think the Dark Knights are going to win because they have our teacher, Miss Murray. Mm -hmm. She's going to kick the ball in your face. I think we're going to win kind of like James, but um, like we don't have Miss Murray, and like she won't kick the ball when it comes to Miss Murray. Because <laughs> we have the PE teacher that knows all the um, like sports and stuff. Okay, the only way to find out who's going to win, you got to be there. Be there live at the high school at 6 o'clock. Cannot wait to see what happens. But the only way to know is if you are there. And don't forget that this Friday, it is Spirit Day for St. Patrick's Day. So you can wear all green. You can wear shamrocks. Have fun with it as we sail into the weekend. Here's a question for you, Lila. How do you feel about birthdays? Do you have opinions on birthdays? Oh, yes, I do. They are amazing. Did you just have a birthday? Uh, yeah, in August. You have yours in August, okay. August. Oh, you have a summer birthday. You're so lucky. You can have, like, like jump in a pool and stuff. I know. It's really fun. Oh, you're so lucky. Like, me, mine's in February. It's always all cold and stuff. Like, hey, but you know what? Like, a good birthday is a good birthday, and we're here to celebrate people who have awesome birthdays right now. Awesome people who have awesome birthdays. So, happy birthday to Emma Belisle, who's right back there right now, uh, Frankie Gaudet, Adelie Larson, Lily Carey, Quinn Charbonneau, uh, Rylan Lynch, Cameron Zamansky and Mrs. Carabine. Happy birthday, everyone. I hope that you have the best birthday out ever because they deserve it. That's why. All right, so you know what goes good with birthday cake, Lila? Coffee. Coffee does. Coffee does. And these two people are going to celebrate um, uh, these people's birthday with a fresh cup of coffee given by Batman himself. So pull out two names, Lila, from Batman's Hollowed Out Skull. And these winners will get... Miss McCandlish! Mrs. McCandlish! Oh my god. She sent you here, didn't she? Actually, let me take that. Okay, and up next... Well, she is making sure that this is on the up and up. Miss... Miss Mrs. Bladen! Congratulations, Mrs. Bladen! Okay, so Mrs. McCandlish, Mrs. Bladen, coffee is on Batman this week. Okay, so let's see. We talked about um, the Academic Adventurer trait, National Women's Month, Spirit Day, Volleyball, 100 Club, Birthdays, Coffee. That's it. Right, Lila? No. What do you mean, no? You forgot something. I it was... I don't know. I don't see anything over here. Don't worry. I can prepare for what? the joke of the day. The joke of the... You have the joke? Okay, so what's the joke? Did come prepared. How does a sign freshen her breath. That's a great question. How does a scientist freshen her breath? With experiments. That's fantastic. It's always good to have a good mint. Just like that scientist. All right, Lila, you have a great week. All of you have a great week. I will see you this Wednesday at the high school at 6 o'clock. Don't forget. Um, and everyone, make sure that you're working hard on being an academic adventurer. And while you're at it, have fun twice. <laughs>